Hello YouTubers. Welcome to my next tutorial on how to measure the protocol and other parameters of infrared remote control using only your Arduino board. And yes, TSOP and Photodad also. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay, so when I was, uh, what you can say, uh, in, I was uh, researching regarding this protocols and uh, frequency and time period of this infrared uh, remote, uh, I found that the people, people use the DSO or oscilloscope for measuring the frequencies and uh, period and other parameters of uh, IR protocol, but I don't have a DSO. And uh, for protocol analyzing, they also use some of the softwares and hardwares uh, uh, particularly made for this analyzer, uh, protocol analyzing. So I've decided to make a code uh, using Arduino IDE for measuring both the protocols and other parameters. And in the end, I've succeeded. So I will show you how I made this and I will share with you too so that it can it gets easy for you to analyze any tv remote or any ir remote it can be of a tv radio or ac or anything so first of all we'll start with the period and frequency now this arduino code will uh, uh, capture the period time period of uh, the signal uh, also the frequency on which uh, uh, the carrier frequency so for that you will require an arduino and the photodiode you have to make a potential divider circuit uh, using the photodiode and a 330 ohm resistor which I have already attached. So we will connect this in uh, reverse biased mode. Okay, so I have made a potential divider circuit. Uh, so this is this is a uh, red wire is the VCC and the yellow wire is the ground and uh, at the junction I will attach the orange wire which will be the signal. So let's connect the Arduino board. Yellow will go to the ground. Red will go to the VCC. Uploading the code of period and frequency and let's see what we get in response. After that I will discuss that what is uh, in the code or what is the logic. Okay, so here it is done uploading. I'll change the border to 9600 for this code. Okay, it says that press the button. So I will press the button uh, here. Again. Okay, I, I'm not getting the response. Okay, okay. So I need to reset and I will. Okay, press the button. Why this is not showing? Okay, so this is 20 and 12 microsecond. 20 microsecond high, 12 microsecond low, and the period is 32 and frequency is 31.25 kilohertz. Uh, as I mentioned in the code, that this is all about trial and error. Uh, so we need to check uh, about 5 to 7 times uh, to get the accurate uh, high and low time and uh, further frequency also uh, okay and I also mentioned that most of the remote uh, which I have experimented during my research uh, all the remotes uh, gives us uh, this value that is the high time is 12 microsecond low times is 16 microsecond and period period becomes 16 plus 12 that is 28 microseconds and the frequency we get is 35.7 that is almost 36 kilohertz now this is the common for most of the remote I also mentioned here so still you can you can uh, check for your remote maybe they they have used any other parameters or anything like that so I request you to go for 5 to 10 times uh, uh, this uh, procedure to check whether the results are uh, accurate or not so with this we can measure the frequency and the high time and the low time now let's see the code that what is inside this code. Uh, we have attached the IR pin to 2 that is the photodiode to the pin 2 
and then the baud rate and uh, okay here is the attach interrupt uh, use the interrupt zero and uh, the interrupt will be called whenever the change is measured that is whenever the pulse go from low to high or high to low the interrupt will be called now what is in the interrupt let's see so whenever the interrupt is called uh, it will store the microsecond uh, time till now in uh, in now variable then it will uh, subtract uh, uh, the current time with the previous time here for the first time the previous time will be zero so it will subtract then uh, the present time will be stored in the past time that is now will be stored in start and if uh, it is uh, greater than or equal to three the interrupt will be disabled <clears throat> as we want uh, the time for only first cycle so I have written this uh, to three and uh, okay so this is what will happen when the interrupt is called it will calculate the microsecond time and store in a variable called capture now I have divided the capture into the low time and high time by simply uh, modulate, uh, dividing it by two a modulo operator I have used so that uh, to separate the odd and even numbers so okay and uh, yeah uh, I have, I have added, oh, sorry I have added the high time and low time and stored in an add variable which will give us a period and the inverse of the period we will get the uh, frequency so this is most easiest way to calculate the frequency and period using your Arduino board uh, okay so this much parameters are only important for uh, this reverse engineering of remote that is frequency and uh, period now after that uh, we have to analyze uh, that uh, protocol protocol of a particular remote for that I have written a different code but actually uh, I have got this code from uh, a website called Analyze IR a great website for this reverse engineering uh, of uh, IR remote so on that blog they have attached a code for capturing the data of AC remote so I have used that code and edited a little bit code will require a TSOP rather than a photodiode so I will just remove this pin okay, so we will attach the signal wire to again pin number 2 that is the interrupt pin and next VCC and ground Is a TSOP come on that frame here okay okay so let us upload the code and after that we will discuss about this code this will give us the protocol or the data which is received through this proto remote change the water to 11 5 double zero okay so it says pass the button once so let us press uh, the button of a remote only once okay once so I got the data of around 75 bits in this in the case of this TV remotes and other remotes uh, re TV remote radio remotes and the CCTV uh, sorry uh, set up box remote in this type of remotes uh, whenever we press the button or as long as we press the button the remote will continuously transmit the same data repeatedly it will transmit uh, as long as we have pressed the button but uh, in in uh, AC remotes the case is different even if you press the button continuously the data will be sent only once so that's why uh, this code says that press the button only once so in this case uh, the 75 bit of data is received when I when I, as long as I press this, uh, press this what you can say power button of this remote but this number is not actual not the true numbers or the data received uh, or the data of the power button is even less than the 75 bits so how can we recognize the true number of bits so for that we need to look after the stop bit now how to recognize stop bit okay the recognizing stop bit is quite easier as the duration of this uh, stop bit is quite quite longer than the all other bits which are 16 microseconds and 1600 microseconds, 620 microseconds. The stop bit is this. That is 40,000 microseconds. So you can easily recognize the stop bit of any remote. The duration of the remote duration may change, but duration will be quite longer in case of stop bit. 
so I will simply copy and uh, paste it in sublime text to see the number of bits the actual bits which is uh, transmitted by single button okay so it is 64 bit long data is transmitted or the 64 8 68 bit data uh, including address and uh, start bit stop bit is transmitted by this power button as uh, as I already know that this remote uh, follows the NEC protocol so it will be like uh, after start bit it will uh, this is the start bit after this it will transmit the address and inverse of address and the data and again inverse of data then stop bit so this is uh, this all are the duration of the signal now how to convert this duration into binary for that uh, I've written uh, my blog in which I have converted this duration into binary number so that we can easily decode that what is the address of that particular appliance or the data transmitted by the particular button. So do visit my blog for that. And the last thing which I want to show you that uh, in case of AC remote, the, uh, the key, huh? in AC remotes, this is totally different. So when I press the button of AC remote, the data, the number of bits transmitted by the single buttons are single button is 439 bit. So this much long data is transmitted by a single button of AC remote. And yes, this 439 is the true number. That much amount of data is actually transmitted. So we have to consider this whole data whenever we are reverse engineering AC remotes. And again, to convert this duration into binary numbers, uh, you can visit my blog. I have written in detail regarding this conversion. So, okay, so this is all about how to analyze the protocol and other parameters using just your Arduino board. Hope you like this project. And uh, for detail, you can do you can visit my blog, which is techiesms.blogspot.com, and I have test this both code in that uh, blog, so you can definitely download it from there. And okay. Stay tuned for next such amazing tutorials. Till then, goodbye. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.